music. Starring David Sanborn, Jules Holland, and the Sunday Night Band. Tonight's guests, Robert Cray, John Hyatt, Tracy Nelson, and the World Saxophone Quartet. Welcome to Sunday night. A vortex of music and love. <laughs> so, so you've come crawling back, Jules. Yes, I have. I have. I was in. I, well, I haven't come crawling back. I'm glad to be back. I feel as I'm back at home now. Your eyes are spinning again. I'm sorry. Good. Yes, that's because I've just got back from London. And in London, would you like to know what I've been yes, doing? Yes, I'd love to hear oh, what you were doing. I'd, I mean, you know, I, I'd be interested too. I, I did all the sort of touristy things, and I thought, this is silly, I live here, there's no point. I should just settle down, which I did, and I saw all the people from Squeeze, and do you know what they said to me? We're starting our record. <laughs> who are you? They, they said, who are you, and, and what, who is this sandball man who's taking, taking you away from us? And I explained, and they understood, and uh, sent their best regards then after the end of it. Well, I mean, we're, we're more or less glad to have you back, Jules. More? I mean, uh... <laughs> Don't mince your words, please. Well, okay. Also returning, I should mention, also returning with us this week is our wandering musical director, Marcus Miller. Marcus? So, so you've come crawling back then. <laughs> crawling back. <laughs> what, have, uh, what have you been doing? I've been in England. You weren't there, were you? No, I wasn't in England. No. I was uh, working with Miles Davis on his new album, actually. Still very smooth. He's playing good too, he sounds good. You should hear him, he's playing stuff from the 50s again, you're playing some of those, those things he used to play. Trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're I wish so I... quick, you're yes. just so quick. I am, I am, I'm sorry. But what did, we thought, we thought you'd gone off um, on a bit of a... Yeah, you can't, they told everybody I went out, quit music and was racing yeah, cars. Formula race car circuit. Well, I did one race, I did a, a campaign, a part of a campaign that Dodge uh, held against drunk driving, you know? Mm -hmm. And they had a bunch of well-known people driving cars, showing what you can do if you're not drunk in a car. <laughs> so um, I had a really good time, but I didn't, I didn't quit music to go drive cars. I just did it one time, had a good time. Now guys in Trans Ams are pulling up next to me in red lights, you know. <laughs> so, no, man, not me, not me. Had a good time. Though. Well, it's, it's good to have him back, isn't it? It's great to be back. It's good to be back. Well, well he's back in this vortex of music and love, and I... Shall we get rid of him temporarily? Uh, yeah, what? what? Yes. In a we, do have, we have a great show tonight. We have, uh, first of all, we have singer, songwriter, and family man, John Hyatt. Also, dynamic song stylist, Tracy Nelson, ladies and gentlemen. And the amazing, the incredible world saxophone quartet. Well, if, um, if all of you in the studio here, and especially those at home, could avert your eyes for a moment, there's going to be a celebrity manoeuvre. Thank you. If you could just manoeuvre back to the band. I'm trying to do it as subtly as possible. OK, if you can now watch our television sets again, David has cut to the other, to the other set because he is about to play with our next guest. A big hand, please, for the fabulous Mr Robert Cray. <laughs> I miss kissing All oh, your love I miss loving All oh, your kisses I miss kissing Since before I met you baby I never knew what I was missing All oh, the love pretty baby I have in store for you Baby, I have in 
I think that we would uh, all acknowledge that Bob Dylan can write a song and is a master of that medium. So for Bob, and I'm going to call him that, for Bob to cover somebody else's song, the quality would have to be colossal. Our next guest has not only had his songs covered by Dylan, but also by the Everly Brothers, the Neville Brothers, Emmy Lou Harris and none of her brothers, Roseanne Cash, <laughs> Conway Twitty. I'll bore you no more with the details of his far-reaching talents and simply introduce you to Mr John Hyatt. <laughs> Yeah. 
close. That was close. Uh, Milt Hinton is a, a jazz le legend who's uh, played bass behind all the greats uh, like Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Count Basie, Dizzy Gillespie, and a lot more people. When he was touring in the 1930s with Cab Calloway, he uh, took up photography, and he's recently put out a book called Bass Lines, which is a collection of his memories of life on the road and some great candid photographs of some legendary musicians. Uh, recently, I had the chance to, to talk to Milt, and he told me about his neighbors, the Cole Brothers. My interest was always in, in, in music. It was always music at our house, because we had the piano, a choir rehearsal was held there. And so Sunday evening, this is before television, Sunday evening that people get around the piano and sang these little songs, in the evening by the moonlight and all those things, and this dear old girl. So there was always music there, and my mother was teaching piano. Nat Cole was one of my mother's teachers, one of my mother's pupils. And I couldn't stand that, I, because my mother would say to me, why can't you be nice like Nathaniel? And of course, that made me very sore with him. But he was always really just that kind of a nice guy. His older brother, Eddie, was a magnificent musician and, and a really a wild guy. He, Ned was always nice and gentleman, but Eddie was a raucous one. But a great piano player, he played bass, he played bass horn, and he sang. I can still remember some of the songs he sang at the seminar all at school. And, Ned, and Eddie was the one that we really thought was going to be the great one, and of course he was at that time, because he was the first one of our, of our era to get a chance to come to New York. U.B. Blake and Noble Sissel were going to Europe with a band, and they got him to play bass. And here we were in Chicago, this is like the 20s, and we said, well, Eddie Cole has gone to Europe, and he came back speaking Spanish and German, and he organized a band and put his kid brother Nett on piano. And he went on a tour of One Night Stands, and he got his first Texas, and almost starved to death. <laughs> and that went on to California, and that was the story. You didn't hear too much about Eddie anymore. Got a penny, penny. Got a telephone, Jenny. And I just got, just got four cents to my name. Got a penny, penny. Can't you guess I have an any? And I got to got to call that solid dame. I went down to the bank, but they had none to spare. I looked up on the shelf, but the cupboard was bare. Got a penny, penny, got a tent for the genie, and I just got, just got four cents to my name.
<clears throat> the fabulous Nat King Cole there, and I happen to have a few interesting snippets of information about Nat King Cole. Would you like to know them? Yes, 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 yes. Well, I'm, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to enlighten and inform. One of them was, of course, he did the original version of the song Route 66, then covered by lots of rhythm and blues bands, even the Rolling Stones. That's extraordinary, for starters, don't you think? Well, all right, it goes more than that. What's even more incredible is that when he started off, he never sang. He was just noted as a great jazz pianist, and people would come and see him. And one evening, a drunken, horrible man went on and on and on at him, trying to get him to sing. And in the end, the man went on so much that the man that ran the club said, will you just please sing to satisfy this drunk? He did, and he never looked back. There you go. There's a, there's a show business story. And that's what it's all about, mixing it all together. And so now, cross collateralizing country music with rhythm and blues, please welcome Tracy Nelson. Baby, you left me. I did you nothing wrong. No, oh, I love you, darling, and I'm sorry that you're born. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you like the devil. I'm gonna miss you like the devil. But you love me anyway I'm gonna miss you I'm gonna miss you like the devil I'm gonna miss you like the devil But these things are over
back with Robert Cray and John Hyatt, who are, who are in, actually in the middle of a very uh, successful and very long tour, I understand, right? Yeah, that's true. Is that true? Now, during the tour, I, uh, I know that you had a lot of chances to uh, play together because, uh, you know, it's out of boredom and just interest, <laughs> right? So, uh, I mean, you've had a lot of chances to jam together, and I understand you've worked up a great version of uh, a s old Sam and Dave tune. Yeah, one which of my is favorites, yeah. Really Something good. is wrong with my baby. That's right. Something's wrong with me. Something's wrong with me. Let's do it. When something is wrong with my baby Something is wrong
Well, I'm, I'm here with Oliver Lake of the World Saxophone Quartet. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about how the band was, uh, how the group was formed? Yeah, we started out about 12 years ago as the New York Saxophone Quartet. And we found out there was another group in town with the same name. So we called ourselves the real New York Saxophone Quartet. <laughs> <laughs> we got a letter from their lawyer, cease and desist. <laughs> At that time, we, we decided to give them New York, and we became the world saxophone quartet. And you haven't gotten a letter from somebody saying cease and desist for the oh, world? No, no. Because then it would be on to the cosmic uh, saxophone quartet yeah. and the universal, and then the black hole saxophone quartet, right? And on and on. <laughs> now, uh, could, could you introduce... <laughs> I'm just being logical, you know? <laughs> Uh, can you introduce the, the members of the band, even though I do know them all? Yeah, Mr. Hammond Blood is playing baritone saxophone. Mm. And Mr. David Murray on the tenor saxophone. And Mr. Julius Hemphill on the alto saxophone. I think I should also point out that, that every, every member of the, of the quartet has individual projects going on. That's right. right. So it's a, this is kind of a, a something that you don't do all the time. It's a, a sometime thing. Very it's it's an event. gathering. It's yes. an event whenever you guys get together. Can, can you tell us a, a little bit about this next piece you're going to do? It's, uh, well, I, well, actually, we're going to do a medley of four tunes that yeah. uh, we've been playing for a while. And the first piece is called West African Snap. Mm -hmm. And the second piece is called I Heard That, which is featured on our next album uh, on the Electra label. The third piece is called Fast Life. And the fourth piece is our theme song, which is called Hattie Wall. Hattie Wall. Now, the, the, uh, the new record is, is out now? Or, or no, it's, it's coming out, out in April. It's, and you told me before it's going to be like an R&B record? Rhythm and Blues record. Yeah. Rhythm and Blues record. Right. All right. Well, I'll listen for that tune in this. OK. The World right. Saxophone Quartet.
Welcome once again a gifted singer and guitarist, Mr. Robert Cray.
Thank you for coming. 